So hey guys, this is Team Overclocked and today I'm going to be showing you guys a $400 gaming PC build for February and March 2017. Now this PC should be able to play all the latest AAA titles like Battlefield 1 and Fallout 4 at 1080p, high to ultra settings at around 40 to 60 FPS. This is very comparable to a lot of the next or current gen consoles out there like the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One S so this means that this is a very great bang for the buck machine. With the benchmarks out of the way let's get right into the PC build. To start it off for the CPU I went with the Intel Pentium G4560 for $65. Now this is a very nice budget dual core CPU with hyper threading making it act like a 4 thread CPU and along with that this has a decent clock speed of 3.5 GHz. This is also based on the KB like architecture so you know you're getting the latest from Intel and since this has 4 threads it will be the ideal setup for gaming since most games out there need a minimum of 4 threads these days. Next up for the motherboard, I went with the Gigabyte GAB250M-DS3H for $74. This is a nice feature filled motherboard with 4 RAM slots, 6 SATA ports, an M.2 slot along with onboard USB 3 headers. It also has the Intel B250 chipset so it will be compatible with the KB like CPUs like the one we have in this build without the need to upgrade the BIOS and it should have everything you need for a budget gaming PC like this one. Next up for the RAM I went with the G-Skill uh, Aegis 8GB set for $52. This RAM set is great for gaming since it is a 1x8GB configuration clocked at 2400MHz. 8GB should be all you need for gaming at the moment and it should allow for some light video editing as well. Next up for the hard drive I went with the Western Digital AVGP 500GB drive for $40. This is a nice bang for the buck hard drive that spins at 5400 RPM and has 32 megabytes of cache. This should provide a lot of storage and it should have enough to store your OS, some documents along with a decently sized Steam library. If you ever need more storage, you can always add in another hard drive which is nice to know. Next up for the GPU we have the EVGA GTX 1050 for $105. This budget beast is clocked at 1.46 GHz, has 2 GB of GDDR5 VRAM and a low TDP of 75 watts. Since this has such a low power consumption, you won't need to connect any external power connectors to this GPU. And for gaming, this should be great for playing games at around 1080p, high settings at decent frame rates when paired with a decent CPU. For the case, I threw in a Fractal Design Core 1100 for $30. This case has two drive bays, some mediocre cable management holes, along with some USB 3 ports and audio jacks on the front panel. It also looks very nice and should go well with most budget setups so it is a pretty good case for this build. Next up for the power supply one with the EVGA 500 watt ATX power supply for $35. For a power supply of this caliber this is insanely cheap since it is made by the reliable brand EVGA who put high quality components in their low end power supplies like this one so you know it's not going to blow up the first time you boot it up. It is also 80 plus certified meaning that 80% of the power from this power supply is going to your PC rather than being turned into heat which is a problem with low quality power supplies. And to top all this off this leaves a lot of room for upgrades since this PC only uses about 250 watts of power and this power supply can output a maximum of 500 watts of power 
So we have about 200 watts of extra headroom. If you want to throw in a bigger and more power hungry graphics card or a better CPU later on. So yeah guys, that was a great build. If you liked the video, please overclock the like button. If you didn't like it, please dislike this video and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you guys in the next one.